Hi, I'm Levi Sim, and the FedEx guy just came and brought me my new Panasonic G9. I'm really excited about it. He also delivered the battery grip for it, the uh, BGG9, battery grip for G9, I guess. And so let's do an open box video, and I'll show you what we've got here. Okay, you gotta love the way boxes are these days. They're always so, like, good feeling. I like it. All right, let's get the tab down here. Pull this thing open. It's like, this is big. I mean, this is like mega Christmas for me. I've been excited about this camera ever since it was announced last fall. It's got a lot of the features from the GH5 that I like and a lot of the features from the GX8 that I like. Here's the, the manuals and stuff. We don't have time to mess around with those. Let's get into the, into the meat of the package. And, um, and, and it's still got a lot of the video features that I'm going to use, like I think it's got all the video features I need as a photographer uh, who, who occasionally does video, who frequently does video, but none of the extra heavy duty stuff that the GH5 has that I just, I don't find myself using. I love this thing, look at this. It's got the, the LCD screen on top. It's got the uh, mode selection dial over here, which is lockable. I like that, that's a good layout. Um, it's got a beautiful big viewfinder. That's really nice. And the yeah, this LCD, I was I was on the fence at first. I didn't think it was that big of a deal because all my settings I can see on the rear LCD. I can also see them in the viewfinder all the time. But I've used this camera a few times, and I don't know. I, maybe it's because I um, initially used a lot of Nikons, and they all have the LCD right there. But I, I find myself using it, and so... I do like it, I'm glad it's there. It's got the fully articulating screen on there, all directions, up and down, inside and outside. Um, interestingly, whenever I'm on a plane and I have my Lumix cameras with me in my lap and I have the screen closed like this, people look over and say, oh, you shoot film, huh? Because they don't see the, the screen on the back. And, uh, and I say, oh, I do, but, but this is actually a digital camera and, and show that off to them. I like it, it keeps it clean. Um, it's got the mic input over here on this side. I mean, that, that's something I do need. It's got the headphone out. That's something I need. It's got the um, HDMI out as well as USB 3. And those are things that I use. I, I use it to teach quite a lot because I can plug the HDMI directly into a monitor. Over here, it's got the dual card slots, top and bottom, one and two. I like that a lot. Down here, battery door, awesome. What's this? Oh, this is for the battery grip. You pull that thing out, and then it helps communicate with the, uh, with the camera to the battery grip. Let's see what else is in this box here. Lumix G9 strap. I'm probably not going to use it because I'm going to use my spider holster on there instead, my hand strap. Let's see. Here's a USB 3 cable. Here's a micro USB. Did I even see a micro on there? What is that? Or, or micro H... No, that's USB. Where does that even plug in? Huh. I don't know where that cord goes. I might actually have to crack the, the manual open and take a look. Or, you know, that, that'll go in half of the USB 3 slot. That goes in the micro side of the, of the USB 3 slot. That's interesting. I'll have to see if I end up using that or not. Ooh, it's a new charger. So this uses the same batteries as the GH4 and the GH5. The G9 has the same batteries, but that is a slick new charger. Oh, and that's what it's for. The, um, the plug is the micro USB, mini USB. I don't, I don't know which it is, mini or micro. And it goes right in there, and that plugs into any USB charger, which I like a lot. That keeps it compact, and it allows me just to take, like, one iPad brick or one iPhone brick with me, or this brick. And I can just use this as the brick for charging all my mobile devices whenever I travel any place. So I like that. There's the USB slot on that side, and those will connect up right there. And there's a battery. I like these batteries quite a lot. They work very well. I've gotten terrific uh, life from them. Let's open up the battery grip now as well and see how it connects to the camera. Manual, okay. Awesome. I'm going to download those on my phone as well so that I have them with me anytime for a reference. And then I will, I, I do go through them um, 
virtually daily just checking in on my on my manual and reading about features and it keeps me up to date many times with things I didn't even know my cameras could do. All right, there's some blue tape here holding this contact cover in place. These are uh they're a little delicate, you know. They're spring-loaded gold contacts, and those made up with that piece on the bottom in here of the GH5 and or the G9. And I like that the grip has a spot to hold on to that for me. Now, oh, we don't even have to take the door off. This is awesome. Like on, on Nikon's, you have to take the battery door off, and then this thing inserts up in there. Um, so what I like about this is that I can use it. I think it's going to take three batteries because it'll keep one in the body and then two in the grip itself, which is pretty awesome. So there we go. Yeah, it'll take two batteries down inside. Or is it just one? Let's take a look at that. It might just be one, so it allows you to have two batteries total. Yeah, one in the grip and one in the body. And man, that thing is still so light. But I love the vertical grip too. It, I, I make a lot more vertical photographs when I have a grip that's on there vertically because it allows me to shoot more comfortably in portrait orientation. Um, it allows my nose to stick out over here and, and uh, just makes it really easy to utilize the camera that way. It's also got the shutter button on there, the full dials and things. Oh, these are like, these are nice. I don't know if I've ever owned no, I have. I've owned the, the name brand grip for a camera. I've also had uh, secondhand, or not secondhand, but third party manufacturers have made grips that I've used on some of my Nikons in the past. Um, but I like, uh, I like how well made this is and how it feels. It's quite, it's quite good. I'm going to have to see how, how my uh, spider straps work with this. My, my spider holster hand strap to see where it's gonna go. It's gonna go up here, and then I think I'll just, I'll just be able to flip over and use it vertically as I need to. But man, that's a, that's a good looking camera. I'm pretty excited about doing this now. It's also got, I love this, the light up uh, display on there, the nice amber color. That's really good. So there's the G9 from Panasonic, unboxed, pretty simple, nothing too fluffy in the boxes or anything. I, I like, how compact it is, how simple it is. I like the design of this camera. It's got this gentle curve to it. It's got a really deep grip as well, which is extremely easy to hold on to. Uh, just a great finger hook on there. And the, the fit and finish looks terrific. It feels nice in your hands. It's got rubber in all the right spots. It's got a really deep thumb hook back here too, which makes it simple to use. Uh, it's got the flash cover on there, the hot shoe, ready to roll, PC sync. Oh, there's a selector button up here. That's new. I like that. That's cool. New new buttons on there. There's two buttons on the front. There's something like 20 programmable buttons on this thing, so I'm pretty excited. The joystick is, is wonderful to use, too. Anyway, Lumix G9. I'll show you some pictures very soon. Thanks for tuning in.